so before start the actual project explanation i request you please subscribe my channel so you can see on the screen up till now i have uploaded more than 66 video on raspberry pi the raspberry pi with iot that is all this video then also iot with arduino all this video are 26 and recently we started the new series on the pick my controller before that i also cover the project on the python web application so if you want to learn python iot raspberry pi arduino pick from the scratch and from uh, freely then please subscribe my channel please support me and the most important part is whatever the code i have explained whatever the project i have created on this youtube channel all these projects are freely available you no need to pay anything for this project so just if only point is you should watch complete video and you should follow my process so if you want to learn something from the scratch and freely then support me and please subscribe my channel and please click on like button hello friend in today's session we will learn how we can design and develop a electronic voting machine based on face recognition algorithm and by using raspberry pi so this is the protest simulation of that project so in this video we will learn how we can design this project in the protest software how to do the hardware connection that you can see on the screen we have the different hardware lcd raspberry pi then some switches and then buzzer so how to connect that hardware with the raspberry pi also we will see how we can design a face recognition algorithm by using python program and after that we will see how to learn how to run this project in your laptop so i request you please watch my this i request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project before start the next part i would like to tell you what will be the flow of this project so you can see on the screen we have different hardware so once our project start then camera will capture our this camera the usb camera that is attached to my laptop so you can use laptop camera or you can use usb camera so laptop camera or usb camera that capture your live image and after that it will detect whether that face already stored in the database or not so outer identification done through the face recognition algorithm so once the valid face is detected then after that it will see on the screen that is valid person please give you please give your vote so once so once that message will be display on the screen then voter can give any uh, voter can give his or her vote by pressing any one of this switch so once he press, press any one of this switch then particular party gets one vote so after that let's say there are two voter for this demonstration of this project there are two voter and one admin so two voter will be vote based on his uh, preference then after that once he give the two voter give the vote to the bjp or congress or ncp then after that if we want to check which party will win then after that the third person will come the third person is nothing but the admin so admin has the access to give the uh, admin has the right to show the winner name so once the admin come in front of the camera then camera again detect its admin then once the admin is detected then on the lcd it is show which party is winner so this is the complete working uh, flow of this project so this buzzer will be used in between let's say if the voter give the vote then buzzer will be ring for the one minute so that the voter gets idea like what already done then after that let's say if the same person come and try to give the vote but the system will detect the invalid person because he has already taken the vote or any voter who does doesn't have the face inside the database that also show the invalid person so this uh, system will full proof that is no one can vote two times or if there is invalid person also he cannot able to vote so this is the complete project overflow i hope you understand the pro project overflow now we will see the practical demonstration of this project and then we will see the hardware connection and then we will see the program part and at the end we will see how to run this project in your laptop so i request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project now we will start the practical demonstration so once i run the project then it will show welcome message and then project name and then it will ask the scan your face here so once i run this project now you can see welcome message there then electronic coating machine message there and scan your face now if someone come in front of the camera then face will be scanned now our first water will be sit in front of the camera so you can see she is our first water so once her face will be scanned then it will show here valid vote valid water and then 
he will give the word by pressing the switch so wait for some seconds so that uh, camera will scan your face now you can see once the camera scan the face then it will show valid voter give word now he will pre uh, she will press the switch and wait for some seconds and then yeah once he, she give the word then you can see buzzer also turn on and her vote will be taken now the next time her vote will be not taken even yeah, her face will be scanned because it is invalid person now another voter will become and uh, she will sit in front of the camera now next person sit in front of the camera so again you can see valid person give vote now he, she is a valid person now he, she has to give the vote So she press the switch, wait for some second. Now her vote also will taken. Now you can see on the screen invalid person because she already taken the vote. Now admin will come and admin will verify who will win this uh, uh, election. So I am I myself as admin, so I will come in front of the camera. Now you can see admin login because I am admin and winner is Congress. So you can see two voters give the same name. That's why winner is Congress and it will continue, continuously show winner is Congress. So this is the complete working flow of this project. I hope you understand the practical demonstration of this project. You can see at the back end here, uh, you can see the face recognition algorithm is run at the back end. So this is nothing but our main program. So it will continuously capture the every voter, every admin face recognize and it will show name also at the back end. So this is the complete practical demonstration of this project. I hope you understand the practical demonstration of this project. Now we will see the hardware connection and then we will see the program part. Okay, now we will see the hardware connection. So before start the hardware connection, I would like to tell you the most of the part. So like Raspberry Pi with LCD, with serial communication, this part I, I have already explained in my previous video, how to connect that part with Raspberry Pi. In my this video fast track toll collection system video so from that video you will get this ready-made simulation like this uh, raspberry pi with lcd uh, and with serial communication only extra part is there uh, dc motor so we, we will delete that dc motor and we will add here our uh, switch part so it is very important to watch this video fast track toll collection system so that from that video you will get idea about how to connect all this circuit with raspberry pi now we require the switch and buzzer so once you have this circuit just delete this part select this circuit and delete this part so once you delete this part now our main part is we have to connect here buzzer so how to connect buzzer just go to the component mode then click on p and type here buzzer So once you type buzzer, you can see this button you have to a uh, buzzer you have to select DC operated buzzer via sound card. Click on OK and place that buzzer here. Then double click on this buzzer and give here operating voltage as a 5 volt and then click on OK. Then after that here uh, on this buzzer you will require power supply. So go to terminal mode then click on power and place that power here. So after you place that power just connect that power to buzzer upper part. Then after that here you will require the uh, transistor. So just go to the component mode, click on P and type here NPN. So NPN transistor you can select generic NPN bipolar transistor. Click on OK and place that transistor here. Then after that connect that transistor to like this. Then after that transaction, uh, transistor uh, this part also should be connected to ground. So just go to terminal mode then click on ground and place one ground here. Connect that ground to ground. Now this part of transistor should be connected to the Raspberry Pi. So just go to terminal mode, click on default and place one default pin here. Then connect that default pin to like this. Then this part of transistor should be connected to now Raspberry Pi. So which mean Raspberry Pi? This number. You can see 29, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33 number. So 33 number is nothing but the GPIO 13. So double click on this pin, copy this number GPIO 13 or you can type also GPIO 13. So just go to the buzzer, double click here and paste that number or type here GPIO 13 and click on OK. So in this way we complete the buzzer part with the Raspberry Pi. Now another part is we have to connect the switch.
now the next part is we have to connect the switch so just go to component mode click on p and type here button type here button so once you type button you can see this push button click on ok and place button here so after you place button here right click on this button rotate anti-clockwise then after you rotate the clockwise next part is we have to connect uh, power supply to this buzzer here so just go to the component mode click on power power from here and place one power here then after connect the power to power here then after that this part of button should be connected to register so go to terminal mode click on p and type here register so once you type register you will find this register so this analog register you can select and click on ok and place that register here then right click on register rotate clockwise then connect that register point to here then after that this point of register should be connected to ground so go to terminal mode click on ground and place the ground here and connect the ground to ground then after that this part should be connected to raspberry pi so go to default terminal mode click on default pin and place one default pin here so after you place default pin just connect the default pin in middle of in middle between like this buzzer and the register so this one buzzer is completed now you can go to selection arrow and cop select uh, this buzzer part so once you select right click on this buzzer copy to clipboard and again right click here and paste from clipboard so like three times you have to do that part same part so likewise you will get three buzzer now you have to connect this three buzzer with raspberry pi 29 31 and 33 number pin so first is gpio 5 so double click here copy gpio 5 then double click here and paste that number here gpio 5 then after that you can see next is gpio 6 so double click here copy this number copy this name on second buzzer double click and paste here then again same third one double click here gpio 12 copy and then paste here double click here and third one so you can see in this way we completed the buzzer part so how to do the square part how to give the number name here that i have already explained in my toll connection video so please watch that video so that you will get idea how to give the square box and how to give the name for your circuit now in this way we complete the circuit part now once you have the uh, circuit part designed with you now we will see the program connection so a uh, program part so basically program you have to write here in the source code so initially uh, when you created uh, the co uh, like new connection the source code you have to write here then uh, i will delete this source code and i will paste my project source code here so that i will guide you how to write the source code so you can see the schematic and source code here so you have to write the source code here just paste my source code as it is so this source code available now we will see the importance of each and every line from the source code so first line is import so all this line import time os raspberry pi gpio pi ports all are, all are the library which is used for the gpio uh, connection for the serial communication we use port library for the delay we will use time library some os functionality is there then we will use os library so likewise we need some library to for our project then after that, line number 8 is nothing but uh, pi.uart so basically we require CLI communication to transfer the data from the phase recognition code on the uh, protest software so for this communication we use the serial port so this you can see in the hardware part this is the serial port so this serial port actually taking the data from the python program so here we have separate python program which uh, detect the phase and the name and from that name and phase detector then it will transfer the person is valid or not to the protest program so this communication done through the gpio port so uh, sorry through the uart port so that's why we require the serial communication here then on line number 11 we are using uh, raspberry pi as a complete board so that's why we define that the uh, raspberry pi as a complete board here then uh, on line number 12 uh, uh, set warning to the false so basically whenever you run the code raspberry pi gives you warning that whatever the line uh, whatever the gpio pin you have used that already used before so to avoid that warning just you have to write this line then in the hardware we saw that like lcd rs pin we connected to 7 then 11 uh, connected to 11 number 
D4 is connected 12, D5 13. So whatever the hardware connection, uh, that pin number we use, all the pin number we define here, like for the switch also, like for the buzzer also. So for example, let's say switch is 29. So 29 nothing but you can see this is switch number 1. So this switch number 1 is here GPI 5. But GPI 5 is nothing but the 29 pin of Raspberry Pi. You can see here. GPI 5 is nothing but the 29 pin. So that's why we define switch 1 is equal to 29. With the same logic, we define all the pins here. Then, from the line number 29 till the line number here, you can see till the line number 143. All are the LCD basic functions and that I already explained in detail in my previous video. So, video name is Simulation of LCD and Temporary Sensor with Raspberry Pi. So, this video, you can see this video thumbnail I, uh, is here. I will also provide the link in the description. So, if you want to really understand the LCD part till line number 143, please watch that video. You will get till welcome message. What is the importance of each and every line? That will I, I will not explain here because it will take that lot of time again. Now, after line number 143, there is a next line like uh, el electronic sorting machine. So, that is the project name that is uh, displayed by using this 145 and 146 line. Then LCD clear. Then we have some variable. We store the count of BJP, Congress and NCP. That is voter count who has given the vote to this party. So, vote given is one variable which is used to wait till the voter give the vote. So, I will show you what is the use of this variable later. Then after that while one. You can see in the while one all these are the lines one from 145 to line number 2 from 145 to line number 217 all these lines are executed infinite number of times so first it will display on the lcd scan your face by using this line lcd string line on the line number 2 then it will wait for the data from the face recognition algorithm so once the data received from the face recognition algorithm if the data is equal to 1 the, if the data is equal to a that means valid person if the data is equal to B, that means invalid person. If the data is equal to C, that means the admin person. So, three data we use. So, once the face is recognized by this face recognition algorithm, from here you can see we are sending A, B and C from this line. You can see from this line. S dot write A, S dot write B and S dot write B and S dot write C. So, this data, so this data is coming from this line, uh, this Python program and it is received on this uh, protest software. So, once the data is received on the protest software, it is checked if the data is equal to A, that means the valid person. So, we have to print on the screen valid person from this line. Then after that, it will uh, check whether what given is equal to false. So, initially you can see what given we have to take as false. So, again till the what given is equal to false, all these lines are executed till infinite, infinite number of times, till this line number 196. From 166, 163 to 197. It will uh, rotate till what given is equal to false. So here we are waiting for the switch. So once the user press the switch, the switch status is received from this th three function. So after data is received from this GPIO input function, the data is stored into switch status one two three. So here it will check if the switch status one is equal to one. If the if the voter press the switch, then respective switch status change value to zero to one. So, if the let's say if the switch 1 is equal to 1 value, that means we have to increase the count of BJP by 1 and we have to display on the screen like vote taken and then after vote taken, we, we are increasing the count BJP by 1. Then after that, we have to turn on the buzzer for some time, then again turn off the buzzer. And after that, you, here also you can see vote given, we have setting the true. So, that means this for while loop will be uh, false because vote given now it will true. So, it will come out of from this loop and then again it will ask for the scan your face so till like till if the any user press the switch now uh, this 196 line number is very important you can see switch status once the switch status uh, press then you can see what given is true then after that this while will taken as a true and will come out of from this loop because while is now false so again it will ask for the next person can scan your face so still first person give the word this logic will be iterated till this logic will be iterated. So, if the again next person will come, the vote given is false, then again it will wait for the switch status. Then once it give the vote, particular switch status will be updated and particular vote number will be increased. Let's say for the switch 2. 
so if the user press the switch to then congress vote will be updated if the user press the switch to then congress vote will be updated you can see here congress is equal to congress plus one so likewise three switch having three party and their respect to vote will be updated and this uh, vote given logic will be considered as a true and if with same logic like we have to turn like each and every switch having the same logic to turn on the turn of the buzzer so this is a repetitive logic then let's say if the three person given the vote and uh, repeat you uh, same person repeat again so from the python code you can see if the person is repeat again from the python code it will send b message in valid user so once the protis protis code get the b message you can see here it will display on the screen invalid person then again it will ask for the scan your face and then it will again iterate and let's say if the admin come then frame face recognition system will detect if the admin name is equal to rahul yes then admin access then it will send the c to the protein software so once the c received to the protein software here then you can see it will if the data is received c on the protein software then it will check here winner so winner calculate by using max function max function it will calculate bjp congress and ncp vote and who was which party gets uh, greater vote or more vote then it will store into winner then again we are checking then again we are checking if the winner is equal to uh, BJP vote or winner is equal to Congress vote. If it's not equal to BJP on Congress, then it is NCP vote. So based on this winner vote, we are again checking which party has the that vote receive. Then we have to display that message on the LCD. So here you can see LCD admin login will be display, and then after the LCD will be clear. And again while one, it will display the winner name, and on the second line it will display the winner name. So winner name here we are storing winner name Congress, winner name BJP or winner name is equal to ncb based on the winner vote calculation so this logic is given here so this is the logic behind the protease software okay this is the logic for the protease software now the next program is phase recognition code so this program uh, uh, i will explain uh, uh, quickly so first important like we require phase recognition library then cv2 library then numpy serial library which is required to send data then after that you can see we are uh, there are three databases image 1 image 2 and image 3 so you can see rahul nutan and anu these are the three images i have already stored in my folder so you can see this is database nutan uh, then uh, uh, anu image should be there this anu then rahul image is there so these are the database images that i already store in my folder so this image folder i have given uh, path given here then after that cv2 capture here you can see one given because i am using the usb camera if you are using the laptop camera then you should give here zero instead of one so this you can change based on your laptop or usb camera then after that it will uh, it will calculate the person face encoding by using uh, the image whatever the image we are giving so three person so same code repeat three times because you have to calculate face encoding then after that there are some array we store that encoding and the person name then face location all these are the some variable so basically it will capture the image you can see video capture capture the image and store into frame and then it adjusts the frame then after that from the frame it will calculate the which face and which encoding is from the live camera so once the live camera open it will capture the live uh, image from the inside this frame and from that frame it will calculate the face encoding then after that it will uh, whatever the face encoding calculated on the live camera it will cap uh, it will compare with the already stored face encoding so uh, from that already stored face encoding you can see here uh, it is taking the name so in inside this name variable uh, if the face code is matches then it will it will store the particular username from this here rahul nutan or anu if the face is not match from the live camera then it will store name as unknown so here we are checking if the already vote taken is equal to name or name is equal to unknown or name is equal to route so basically these three lines are very important so here you can see already taken what means once the user come first time so it will it will give already what taken name as that user name so next time when the person come then here it will check whether previous person is same as current person no then here it will check if the current person is unknown it is no and if the current person is equal to Rahul, that means admin, it is no. Then this condition gets satisfied. And here on the on the Python screen, it will print vote taken. 
and it will send the a message to the python up to the protis program so let's say if the same person come next time then here it will check if the already person is equal to name already what given name is equal to current name person that is name this name is nothing but the live image captured by the camera and camera detect that name so that name is nothing but the previous person name yes then it will comes into lc flow here it will check is that name is equal to rahul the live image no then it will come to the else part and then here, here it will print invalid order and send b to the protest software and protest software then it will show invalid person so with the same logic if the rahul come that is the admin so from the face encoding it will detect the name here and after name detect it will here you can see if the name store here if the face is found so name it will check here name is not equal to rahul now name is equal to rahul so it will come into else flow and here it will show admin access and then it will send c message to the protest software and then it will show on the protest side that is who is the winner so this is the small logic idea behind the face recognition algorithm below logic is very simple just frame adjustment frame size what is the frame color what is the name of this frame when the face name is shown on the frame that is the what is the color all these are the basic logic so most important logic is this this one capturing the frame uh, encoding matching the encoding data from the frame storing the name from the current uh, camera and then comparing with the name and then based on the name idea it will show valid invalid or anybody so this is the basic logic behind the face recognition code so uh, i hope you understand the program logic now we will see how to run this project in your laptop now we will see how to run this program uh, in your laptop so very important part is for this project you require many library so first software you require the protis 8.9 software so please download protis 8.9 software because it has inbuilt raspberry pi uh, controller or microprocessor so after that you have to download my this project electronic voting machine so this project you will find out from my uh, website i will provide my website link from that website you you need to download all this file in your laptop so this file after you download that will be in the zip folder you have to unzip that file and then and then only you will find out all these files so very important you should visit my website and try to download this file from at your laptop then after that which which files you need to open so i will tell one by one okay now i will tell one by one process how to open all this file so first you require uh, protis 8.9 software so just double click on this protis 8.9 software and click on run as administrator then click on yes button then after that go to the open project and then go to the downloaded folder from my website this is the folder electronic voting machine and then inside that folder you will find this proteus file so click on open button so once you click on open button you can see ready made uh, ready made source code and ready made schematic you will find so no need to draw again draw the schematic all the software all the source code you will find ready made so this is basic step now once you open the proteus software next software you have to open the python program so just go to the python program so once you open the python program so once you open the python program go to the file click on open button then after that again go to the downloaded folder from my website so first program you have to open this capture image and again just go to the same file click on open then face recognition code so two program will be open so this capture image is a basic program which is used to store the database now i will show how to store the database so uh, i will show how to store the database so before that you require this cv2 library so how to install this cv2 library in your laptop i have already explained in my previous video raspberry pi send live unknown person id complete explanation protest simulation of smart door lock system project using face recognition algorithm so please watch that video this video link i will provide in the description or you will find in the uh, playlist so please watch that video from that video try to install cv2 library in your laptop 
and you should use protease below uh, it version so after that just click on uh, run and click on run model so for your demonstration what i will do i will delete my database so my uh, image i will delete from the current project so this is the current project so this is the rahul i will delete this image so for live demonstration i will show how to create database so if i want to create rahul database i will just click on this run button capture from the camera run button and run model so wait for one to two minutes or it will take five minutes also based on your system performance so it will show enter your name so wait for that name okay after five minutes you can see uh, after one to two minutes you can see here it is asking enter your name so i will change my name for the temporary pur uh, temporary purpose so i will give name as a shubham so once i give the name as a shubham i will press enter so once i press enter at the bottom you can see camera will be open so just focus on in uh, to the camera and try to capture the be better image from your side so if image is not correct you can click on this cross button then you will take the new image so like this you can try to capture the better image from from the camera now you can see my face is very clear so after you take a take on the better image just click on this again arrow this cross arrow not not this cross cross arrow you have to click the cross arrow this one ideally this shell arrow you have to click on cross so once you click on cross click on ok so once you click on ok you can see uh, in the folder in the folder your folder the shubham name and the with the face it will create it you can see this like this shubham name with the face now after that what you have to do you have to change the name in your another python code so open the face recognition python code you can see here so instead of rahul i will give shubham name because i have type shubham name there so this name should be exactly identical with your name so shubham spelling should be correct and this name should be also exactly same shubham.png so this name instead of rahul i will change shubham here then again person name also i will change shubham so whatever the name you have given you should give that name here so like this two 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 name you have to change and then after that uh, here uh, you can see admin as a rahul so admin i will consider as a shubham now because i change my name as a shubham so here also i change shubham so whenever there is a rahul i will change that one because admin now admin consider as a rahul so in this way you can change the admin now another point is uh, voter id so voter who will give the vote so this again you have to run this same code capture image and after that you run the code you will try to capture the image from the another voter like this i have captured the image with their name and after that you can give you can rename this name as a nutan instead of your voter name anu instead of your voter name and here also person name you can change so if you want to add the new order you can just copy and paste this one image 3 copy and paste image 4 because four, fourth order is there and you can change the name and here this three line again you can copy this four line again you can copy and paste and here should be fourth person name then uh, here should be image whatever three you have to change four four all this type you can see as a four wherever there are three you have to change as a four 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 then after that face encoding also here you have to press enter and give the face encoding as a four so here and here also person name you can enter and you can copy and paste and as a four so likewise you can add as many as uh, database in the code so i told you how to add the database how to add the code so this is the way you can change the person name and the add the database so this is very important part now next part is here com serial one so how to uh, enable this com port so there is one software for that now i will tell based on the what is the use of this com one so for that you require the one vsp software so this software you require vsp virtual uh, serial uh, port software so how to install this software that also i already told my previous video this video so very important to watch this video to download this software 
so once you download this software double click on this software then click on this arrow it will ask for the demo version just click on this arrow so it will open this software just go to device and create and there here you can click on next button and com1 click, click on finish so here you can see com1 then click on this green button so com1 will be start this is virtual com port so that name you can give one here as a in the phase negation code in, in the here com1 so this is the idea so if you don't have this com1 then your project will throw the error so it is very important you should install phase, phase recognition library cv2 numpy serial library so how to install all the detail step i have already explained this video so that this video is very very important for you if you want to run this project okay so once you have the database once you have the com port then next party you have to just run this code so how to run this code just click on run and run module so if there is no error then you can see it will run it will take time for two to three minutes and it will run so again side by side you can open the protest software and just click on this run button so if there is no error in the protest software also so if there is no error in the protest software you can see welcome message you will see see here and side by side you are another python program also running at the back end so it will ask for a scan your face now it will wait for uh, open this protest software uh, sorry python software which capture the camera so wait for some second till camera will be open at the back end so new program started here it is old old error new program started here so again wait for some second it will start capturing the image if there is no error so likewise also you can debug the error if no such file directory found to check whether there is a name is correct dot png is there dot gp should not be there so likewise you can understand uh, uh, if there is what why that error is come so you can see once the camera start capturing the image it will show the at the back end you can show it can show here then we can open and your program is start working so you can see in the screenshot also it will show bjp wins so i hope you understand the program part i hope you understand the hardware connection and also how to run the project in your laptop so if you like my content please click on like button please subscribe my channel and please support me thanks for watching this video